Every boat has a notable or striking feature that sets it apart from the rest of the fleet. With these Makairas, it's all right here in the bow. You'll notice the deep, fine entry right here that transitions into this Carolina flare. This flare carries all the way up to the tip of the bow here. If you see any drone footage of these boats running, you'll see the water just shearing off of these bows all the way to the tip. It's a real soft ride and it's a dry ride with this Carolina flare in here. Up on the top of this bow, we've got a recessed electric anchor drum in there that doesn't impede your sight from the, uh, the helm station. If you stand back about 50 feet from this hole, you'd swear it's a fiberglass boat, but this is an aluminum boat built in New Zealand. Makaira just does an amazing job putting these boats together. You can see the welds here and uh, the paint job on this boat. Everything is pretty much covered from the U-decking to the paint. This is a Gen 3 850. It's the equivalent of a 28 footer powered with twin 225 horsepower mercury outboards that push this boat to over 50 miles an hour. It's also got a 9.9 .9 mercury kicker that's tied into the stern steering station here independently uh, so that you can tilt these outboards up and really have a lot more maneuverability if you're trolling with this boat. Now we're up on this Makaira. We've got a live well built in right here. Uh, workstation right here, and the nice thing about this, you can pull this right out of there and, and clean up that transom. If you don't need that in there, just throw that in the garage. Uh, we've got rigging right down below here, and if you look on the deck and up on the gunnels, we've got U-deck everywhere. Really adds to the appeal of these boats, and it warms up the decks as well. Uh, of course, we've got our stern steering station here as well that's tied independently into our Mercury kicker so that you can tilt those engines up if you want the mains and really turn this thing on a dime when you're trolling. Uh, we've got storage right over here underneath this seat. You see we've got our life jackets and our camera equipment in there. Uh, grab handle overhead with all of our rocket launchers. Really a nice overhang in here with some deck lights. You can open up this aft wall as well. This is really a nice feature right here. You can tilt that right up and really open up this cabin so everybody can be part of the conversation. Over here we've got a fairly large Dometic sink, toaster oven, storage drawers down below. You notice how all the drawers in here have aluminum and plastic latches. They really try to minimize the dissimilar metals on these Makairas to make these boats last for a long, long time. Another one right here. Got a gorgeous dinette over here on the port side and this does drop down into a day bunk in here as well. We've got a large refrigerator in here and then forward we've got a large cuddy cabin space as well you'd be hard pressed to find a spot on this makaira that isn't covered and that includes the cabin here as well you'll notice the gorgeous final headliner in here we've got carpet on the dash carpet everywhere that even extends to the helm station right here vinyl lined helm station and of course we've got a, a comfortable home station as well adjustable wheel uh bow thruster zip wake mfd we've got our our furnace control right here, VHF radio, Merc controls right down here, as well as all of our switches, and incredible visibility in here. But I'm, I'm about ready to take this boat out on the water, and we'll show you more about the visibility and the performance out on the water. Let's go. We're out here on the edge of the San Juan Islands now, and uh, one thing we want to show you is the bow rise on this 28 Makaira. I mentioned the twin 225 Mercury's. Engines are trimmed all the way down. Let's just go ahead and get up on step here, and uh, we'll show you what the bow rise looks like. Not much. Let's see, we're at 3,300 RPMs. A little bit of bow rise in there with that deep V hole, but uh, jumped right up on step. Let's go ahead and get right up to our cruise speed. See what we can do here. So right now, we're at 28 miles an hour right here. 12.8 gallons an hour. 
3,300 RPMs. We can run that up a little bit too. Let's go up to uh, let's go up to 30 miles an hour. Yeah, there's 29, 14 gallons an hour. Bring it back down. I think you know 28, 29. I mean, look at that. We're sub 12 gallons an hour. We're 12 gallons an hour. 27 miles an hour right there. Incredible fuel economy with this 28 Makaira and those Mercury's. Those Mercury's have ARO, Advanced Range Optimization. It's the same computer software you have in your in your vehicles at home. Uh, really helps optimize your fuel economy and save you money at the pump. And we're seeing that right here. 12 and a half gallons an hour, 27 miles an hour. You know, you can play with that. If you had this boat, you can certainly play with that, but that's great economy. Then we like to do some cornering exercises, of course. If you saw that video, the 26 we did last year, I mean, just hook up in the turn. We're gonna throw this 28 into the same kind of a cornering exercise. 31 miles an hour, 32. I'm gonna lay this hard over to starboard and you'll see how this Makaira will hook up in this corner. Look at this, look at this. Yeah. Give us some juice coming out of the hole here. Yeah, not too many boats are gonna do that for you without cavitating out on the corner there. Uh, really amazing performance. So now we're starting to get a little bit of chop out here in the islands. Uh, certainly not big by any means, but you can see how this hole is just slicing right through this little bit of chop here. And this boat doesn't have an air right seat. They don't come with air right seats. The air right is the hole on this Makaira. We don't have much out here to be quite honest with you, but you would get at least a little bit of popping or something with a normal hole in water like this, and there's nothing. I can run this up wide open throttle right now for you into this little bit of chop, and you'll see we're just gonna slice right through it. You know, we're going 44. I'll trim the outboards up a little bit. There's 47, 48, and again, we're just walking right across this little bit of chop out here, 50 miles an hour. We're smoking, and this hole is really performing here. Remarkably well, 51 miles an hour, and nothing. No squeaks, no pops, no pounds. Just cutting right through this little bit of chop out here. Pretty spectacular. I mean, we're cruising at 37 miles an hour right now, and uh, smooth as can be. I wish we had a little more wind, to be quite honest with you, but uh, take what we can get out here. Okay, we're at like 37, 38 miles an hour right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mash the throttles and wide open throttle, trim those outboards up just a little bit and see what kind of top speed we can get in this calm water here. We had it up to 55 out around the corner and uh, let's see what we can do here. Now there's 55 miles an hour right there. Look at that, 55 and a half miles an hour. We are screaming, 2225 Mercury outboards on this 28 Macarra. I don't think we're gonna do a cornering exercise right now, but uh, that's incredible top speed. 55, we're 56 miles an hour right now. Look at that, 55, 56 right there. Yeah, unbelievable. I'm gonna go ahead and pull her back now. 56 miles an hour top speed. Well, that was a blast as always. If you want more information on these Makaira boats, they're being imported by Tom and Jerry's Boats in Mount Vernon, Washington. You can get more info online at their website, tomandjerrys.net, and of course, over at makairaboats.com. We've got another video linked for you right down below if you wanna see more of our content. This has been Live the Boat. Appreciate you stopping by. Drop your comments and questions down below. We'll catch you next time.